Hello, my friends, and thank you so much for streaming us as always on Facebook and YouTube or watching on KUM TV 8. I'm Jason Salas, and this is KUM News Extra. We have a fantastic topic, a very dear friend of mine, Natalia Fakul, who I have not seen in a while. Hello, Natalia. Half a day. Half a Thank day. you for, so much for having me. Good to see you. Okay, and Natalia is making a name for herself right now, helping people who might, shall we say, have a little bit of apprehension about public speaking. Yes. You're running the Guam Toastmasters organization, or is it the Guam chapter of the Toastmasters International Organization? I know your yes. title is like a mile long. So our, our name is the Ina chapter um, of Toastmasters International. Very so cool. we um, are actually the first, well, it's been years since the last Toastmasters, so we're kind of bringing it up back to, um, you know, bring members together of our mm -hmm. community who are interested in developing their communication skills. So I believe that the last uh, club in existence was probably 1996. Mm -hmm. So it's been some time. So we want to uh, reach out to the members of the community and just let them know, you know, uh, if you're looking to improve your public speaking communication skills or even just to become a good storyteller like yourself um, come out we have a great platform to practice your communication skills well interesting because I, I still find it fascinating to this day natalia that so many people on guam and in in a community where you know we're constantly like at fiestas and you're dealing with friends and family and you're always you know going back and forth and having dialogues or you know you're in church all the time and you're reading you know you're presenting you're testifying mm -hmm. uh, people still have an issue with public speaking here oh yeah it's amazing it's astonishing it's it's incredible too because i you know for some reason when i'm ever at church right i see how the the priests go up and they they tell their homilies and i'm mm -hmm. just i always wonder do they struggle with these anxieties and i just use an example because i see how eloquently they they give their um, sermons, you know, or their um, homilies. And we have a lot of people that experience this, including myself. And it's the irony of it is that I am a musician performer and I just, I still struggle with this. Okay, I want to talk about that. Well, you know, let's get right into it because you brought it up. Because um, the last time one of your colleagues, Vince, was here and he was talking about the inception of the organization and, mm -hmm. you know, like it was a membership drive. But, but I said, you know, my buddy Natalia is not here and I find it absolutely crazy how she's got you know a little bit of a fear of public speaking because i've known you and you've been gigging for what 15 yeah, years now yeah something like that so it's I, it's been some time so is it almost like and you know i remember when i was in my playing days do you feel like you're kind of you use your guitar literally as a separator like almost like a, a like a divider between you and the audience and that kind of what gives you that distance or? yeah it definitely adds on to the comfort zone right and i I'm kind of in my own bubble, but the, the thing that brings me back in, you know, everyone, it's natural to get nervous, right? And I still get nervous every now and then, but really to just bring me back to what I love to do, and that's singing. It helps me overcome it. Um, but if you were to ask me to sing without my guitar, like right now, I'd probably mm. re start sweating. Okay. <laughs> I, I would love for you to sit here and like sing to us and everything, but I know you're going to give us like this fat invoice and everything oh, like no, that. So no, I'd no. include the funds ahead of time, but we'll, we'll yeah. talk about that like okay. afterwards. Okay. Yeah. But interestingly enough, I mean, there's so many people and you know, you, you've been able to distinguish yourself in your career where with Gita, you know, you're making mm -hmm. economic presentations and stuff that's mm -hmm. very, very esoteric and incredibly technical. Mm -hmm. um, you've been a university professor where you are lecturing to groups of total strangers. Yes, sir. So do you think it's just experience and the more reps you get, you get better at it? Or how do you actually condition yourself and, and what lessons will you pass down to your members and say, you know, this could be you and you can get better at this too? There are different, different ways to convey, you know, your message. And I think knowing the audience, like you said, is very important um, as opposed to f uh, giving a presentation to students or giving a presentation to investors. You know, they're, they're, they have somewhat similarities, but the overall all goal is to clearly articulate that message mm -hmm. and when you truly understand it I think um, you know you would become more articulate uh, the more you practice it of course and um, yeah I just it it's a work in progress for sure so when you kind of look at it as in terms of like okay there's an objective to the type of public speaking I'm doing like if me when I'm anchoring the news and everything I know I'm trying to sell people on an idea or mm -hmm. get them to, you know, believe in a story. So that, you know, as a marketing major, that makes perfect sense to me. It's like, how do I have to pitch this to get yeah. you to do it? Or if I'm trying to tell a joke, it's like, okay, I want to make sure that people will understand this and, and make them laugh. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, I mean, different, different times. But if you look at it in terms of like, you know, in terms of like getting an objective done and everything like that, to me at least, that, that's what got me over the hump. Yeah. I don't know if that works for everybody. Well, I think, and I thought about this a lot more so, is that um, we have a solid membership. Uh, we're just about 30 members now. And Good group. Yeah, uh, and we're continuing to reach out to the members of the public for this, is that, um, you know, if you believe in simply, or you want to develop your communication skills, um, you can come in and do so. We have meeting roles where you we have try and get as many prepared speakers as possible. Um, we have an evaluator, a general evaluator, and um, members from the public can come in and alternate those roles. So in a sense, you, you practice your time management skills, you um, practice um, just communicating, but not, uh, how do you say? You don't realize you're doing it, but you actually are practicing your leadership as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And see, everybody watching right now, I, I saw what you just did right there. You kind of like, you know, because I'm in the business, so I saw you kind of like, you know, double back on your thoughts and everything. Yeah. But you recovered and, you, you know, you moved on and everything like that. And that, of course, comes with experience. Oh, yes. You've it's, been doing this kind of thing for years. But. Well, it's a, it's, it's a work in progress, progress and I still get very um, anxious. But I, what helps me is to really just, okay, I got to refocus okay what is the overall message i'm trying to get across and i think that's the thing is that you know once you balance yourself with that then you can you can tell your story and hopefully get other people encouraged to to come on board with and that. i know a couple of the toastmasters and it's it's not just you know if people are maybe thinking this naively okay it's a bunch of like 19 and 20 year old kids who are still in school and they're like i'm a little bit you know tentative with like public speaking, you actually have some people who are in professional circles mm -hmm. who just for whatever reason, they're like public speaking is not my thing. You know, I can be, I can be a great doctor, you know, I can, you know, I can um, put together like I'm an engineer and I can put together this wonderful idea, but I couldn't give a speech to save my life. So I need yeah. help. So one of the greatest things about our uh, members is that we have a very diverse club. So you get people from ages 20 to 65 and above, and it's just, it's what makes our club most unique is that experience they bring to the table. A couple meetings ago, we had a chiropractic doctor come up and speak, and she was just saying how um, when she moved onto the island, she was a, a bit um, nervous about how accepting or not accepting, you know, the community would be. But then she realized, like, people, you know, Guam's hospitality is just what makes it, so special and that's what we offer and um and then she found toastmasters she said she goes you know we we have a great great group going and i think it's just getting members to break out of their shell and mm -hmm. for her to be up there and speak she goes man i wouldn't have thought that this would be something that i'd be doing you know a year ago it just people struggle with it and i think just becoming more vocal about it it's it makes it more manageable it just you know and then you're allowed to to practice it and um, and especially when you have that encouraging group to mm -hmm. do so it just makes the experience overall uh, a good one well also we've been talking for about seven minutes now and you haven't said um once and you've been talking a lot so i'm insanely no. jealous of you because it took me a really <laughs> long time to get over that all right we got to go but uh, can you tell people where they can find you guys on social media or what number they can call if they'd like more information or to sit in on one of your meetings sure so if you search toastmasters guam You'll find us on Facebook and Instagram. And then you could give, if you have any email inquiries, you can um, email us at toastmastersguam at gmail.com. Oh, very cool. Natalia, yeah. always nice to see you. Thank you. you All too. right. And thank, thank you for you what you're so doing much. for the community. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. The biggest room in the world, ladies and gentlemen, is the room for improvement. So go check out my friend Natalia. She's doing really good work. Help you get better at public speaking. And we will be back with more public speaking of our own right after this. The next generation Galaxy has arrived. See it and believe it. The Infinity O displays the most innovative Galaxy screen yet. Capture the wider world. Take stunning photos with a 123 degree field of vision. Use your phone to charge other wireless charging devices. Don't just stand out, 